Hey everybody, Fire Red Pikachu here, and today we are doing Pokemon Shield Crown Tundra. I am sorry, very sorry for being gone for a long time. And, uh, well, I kind of did some off screen for Isle of Armor and some story for Crown Tundra, but you guys won't believe it. Off camera, I was doing Max Layers and found a Zygarde. So, cause I was gonna make a video in the title being a uh, hunt for a Zygarde, but I mean, there is no longer need for the hunt cause, cause I came really close to defeating it, but I, I really didn't want to win cause I wanted to make a video on it. So that's exactly what we're doing. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more or if you want to see a full story for Crown Tundra. So yeah, let's get straight into it. But you guys, you have no clue how tense that was. How close I was to defeating Zygarde. Uh, Zygarde. Save my data. But I came so close to defeating Zygarde. Yeah, all right, we're gonna in, we're gonna invite people. Oh, jeez, that was fast. I guess if people wanted a Zygarde. Oh, and also I will uh, I will also put my Discord down in the description below, and I will also put my Nintendo Switch friend code in the description below. No fairy types. Well, we're gonna have to go with this. so we're gonna have to go with Brazong. All right, guys, let's do this. Um, I have no idea how long this video will be since we are going after Zygarde, but I almost beat it on my first attempt. Will be well. Um, I was okay. So. Before I made this video, I was off camera talking to a friend and while attempting to have a race to either encounter Zygarde or catch it. After I caught my, uh, after I caught my Tapu Bulu, I then went back to the Max Lair and found a Zygarde. We were able to keep all four lives before we ran into Zygarde. We were able to get him down to half health until he turned into complete form. Then we were able to, after a while, he killed my Hitmonlee and then after a while, we were able to get him down into red before being blown out into den, out of the den. So yeah, this is the second attempt. I don't know how long this video will be, so make sure you guys sit back, relax, get maybe get yourself some snacks, drinks. So yeah, we're just here having a good time. And also, uh, next year, I will be going to a cosplay convention. So, yeah. I will be going as Denki Kaminari. So, if any of you guys are there in the Evansville, Indianapolis, Evelcon, I will be there. And I will be there with family celebrating my 17th birthday. So yeah, anyway, um, we are about to take down this Hydra because we're, we're going to need fairy types and water types to take down the Zygarde since it is ground dragon. So I will take this Hydra 
and I will catch it. And I made my character look completely different. Different haircut, different eye color, different hair, different clothes. And uh, tomorrow I will be making the first parts of the Crown Tundra Legendary Clue number one. So yeah, I hope you guys tune in for that. I hope you guys tune in for that. It's like, <clears throat> so yeah, I will take that Cedra and we will continue onward to Zygarde. This might take a while to actually beat and capture, but hopefully we have a strong enough team that can endure the moves and take down Zygarde. Wait, Zygarde's electric, oh, no, not electric, uh, ground dragon. So if we had an electric type, okay, maybe this could work. But thing is, you don't know the Stunfisk's move though. Oh, Doug Drio, never mind. Why did that say it was electric then? Unless I wasn't paying attention. But, uh, yeah. What? Oh, I was about to say, those are my moves. I was about to say, why does Doug Drio know a water move? Uh, guys, I am just discombobulated after that last match. So, yeah, uh. How was everyone's day today? You can leave that in the comment section below. And also, the quest Pokemon question of the day. What legendary or mythical is your favorite from Crown Tundra in the Max Lair? Leave a comment down below. And uh, catching Zygarde and defeating Zygarde. Oh, Catching Zygarde is one thing, but defeating it, that's another thing. That's, uh, that's something that may take a few, uh, a few episodes to actually defeat Zygarde and catch it. It would at least take a, it would at least take three tries. Or so I have heard. These I've seen Alfred and Jaden Animation. Shout out to them. They're my they're my favorite YouTube poke poke tubers that I've watched before. Um, they've they've did it like about three times or four. I don't know. I'm gonna have to relook at the video after this one. But yeah, uh, it did take them a while. So. Uh, I may not be available tomorrow to make um, Pokemon videos just for the afternoon until after work, cause yeah. But other than that, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna catch the Dugtrio. I'm gonna let someone else catch it, or I mean, or even if we need to uh, switch Pokemon. Because if we do, then we need to keep the Seedra alive and literally any other Pokemon that's super effective. So say like if Catherine switches out the Lilligant for Dugtrio, which is, is, which is a possible move. Because I'm staying with Seedra because I know that we have uh, probably a higher chance of winning and defeating it if uh, all of our Pokemon aren't weak to a thousand arrows. But I know for sure that the Magneton definitely is. Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna want to go. We're gonna. We're gonna want to. Have to okay, never mind. I guess we're going ice. Oh, there's also a researcher scientist up there. 
could get a red soul Pokemon from that, but I'm st I'm staying staying with the Pokemon I have. Frostlass. That could work against Zygarde. That could possibly work against Zygarde. But I will split this up into a two-parter if I have to. If I don't have to, then this will be only a one a one episode, the first episode of Crown Tundra. And hopefully uh, we can beat Zygarde this time. Wait, we can possibly, we could actually possibly beat Zygarde with a substitute though. You know, that actually could work when you really think about it. Cause, cause the substitute takes no damage. Well, until it, uh, until it, the Pokemon uses the move on it. But I feel like this could work. We just need a Pokemon that has a fairy type move and a dragon move and a water move. And this could possibly turn out to be a good video. So yeah, uh, that, I think that could work. That's the team we have, except the... Except the... Uh, Except that one electric type there over there. Except for that one electric type over there. Except that magneton right there. I, I feel like the, that won't work, the magneton being there. Because I feel like the magneton would be the first Pokemon that be KO'd. And I have a special Pokeball. And I, no, not Pokeball. I have a special ball for this Zygarde. That will be a Master Ball. I'm not, I'm not playing around with, I'm not playing around with Zygarde today. Because this is the one chance that I could actually finally have a Zygarde. Because when I had X and Y, I honestly didn't have a Zygarde, but uh, had Zygarde cells. And I didn't want to, you know, and I didn't really want to, um, I didn't really want to, you know, spend all day looking for them all just to get a Zygarde. Oh, oh no, that's not, that's not going to work. If we're going up against a ground type, that definitely won't work. All right, we're back at Zygarde yet again. This is the second try. There he is, the he or she or it, there it is. All right, if I can just Dynamax, nope. All right, uh, let's Dragon Pulse. I'm gonna have to Dragon Pulse this thing. And hopefully somebody has other super effective moves like ice types, like ice moves. Since it's a drag, <gasps> wait, this could work. Having a dragon water and ice ghost. This could work. This is this could possibly work. This, you know what? This could work. This could work. Seeing as we have a floss, a frost last, and a Seedra on our team, this could work. We just need to tank out its moves for a while. But this could work, you guys. As long as it doesn't go for like moves that can KO other Pokemon. But this could work. See, look, ha some of itself is already gone. And more of it's about to be gone, right? Metal sound. Okay, that uh that lowers its special defense. Okay, good. See, it's already at the R. Well it's between the A and the R. But this could work. This could work, you guys. As long as it doesn't go for a thousand arrows, we should be fine. And if the Frostlass 
keeps going for ice type moves, then we should also be fine. If we can keep outspeeding the Zygarde, then we should be fine. If it keeps going for the Bell Autumn, we should also be fine. Alright guys, second phase. Second phase, we're at second phase already. Or maybe there won't be a second phase. There won't be a second phase! Let's go! Alright, that... Alright guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Wow, this is only a 15 second video. Oh jeez, that was a 15 second video. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And... I will end the video off once we catch Zygarde. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Bye.